You know what's on our mind this morning? What happened in Manchester, England yesterday? Joining us now to discuss the bombing, which killed at least 22 people, is terror expert Brian Levin, which is an odd title, but I guess that's what you are at this point. These days, yeah. yeah. My father wanted doctor, so yeah. Well, close, yeah. A yeah. professor at Cal State San Bernardino and the director for the Center of the Study of Hate and Extremism. Uh, are you surprised at all? Here's what I am surprised about. Um, I'm surprised that it was Manchester as opposed to Birmingham or London. Uh, Manchester, there were plots, and th there are certainly uh, folks that they are watching there. But during a time when international focus is coming to Europe, with uh, meetings uh, in Europe just coming up in the next week in both Italy and elsewhere, uh, I would have thought that if it was a truly coordinated attack, that uh, one would want to strike one of the bigger cities like Birmingham or London, but Manchester's the third largest in there. But it, it gives us a lesson, like we were talking about Oklahoma City, secondary cities and places outside venues, mm -hmm. perimeters, are, are, are the big thing that we're and watching. how do you get, I'm, I'm, first of all, people of Manchester would not be happy with you because they're not a perimeter city in their mind. Uh, the third world, line, great, great soccer capital, team, yes. believe me, yeah. yeah. But, but uh, bringing it back here, I mean, we have, Staples, and we have the Forum, and we have Dodger Stadium, and Anaheim Stadium, and Stubb Center, and the Coliseum, et cetera. These are all Rose potential Bowl, targets, right? Col Rose Bowl. Yeah. Coliseum. Uh, how, do you, how do you stop one person who wants to die in order to do this? Great question. Couple things. First, you want to interdict using signals intelligence. You want to track these folks. And this 22-year-old was apparently being tracked. The problem for places like Britain, uh, it's more acute than here. That being said, we will get hit again. Well, but well, why is it more acute? I said earlier, boy, we've been lucky in the United States, but that just feels like a terrible thing to say. It doesn't feel right to say that. Why is it more acute in Britain? Great question. Um, the first reason is that it's more proximate to uh, the theater of Iraq and Syria. The geography. S yes. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there has been a history of radical clerics in Britain. I've, I've been there, I've met with uh, their, their counter-terror folks. Um, on the good side for Britain, uh, guns are very hard to get a hold of. So what are we seeing? We're seeing bombs and we're also seeing vehicles and knives being used. Right, there's also another aspect and that is hundreds and hundreds of uh, people went from England to Syria and Iraq and many of them have come back. Yes. Radicalized. And, and, and they have uh, more sustained networks there and again as you said people going into theater and coming back we have a far uh, less uh, elastic pool of those kind of trained radicals so what we're, what we're generally looking at is a spectrum of directed all the way to inspired and some folks in between it'll be interesting to see what kind of network was here I think there's some kind of cell someone could make a bomb on their own but generally uh, with something like that there's at least some other people well they've arrested one other person so right. that would lean toward there is some kind of organization. Yes, but if I may, one of the things that we see happen in Britain, and I've met with their folks, is they roll up like anyone who might even be mm. attenuatedly connected. So, yes, let's see what the arrest was for. They're being very tight-lipped. But, yes, uh, they're going to use all kinds of forensics, surveillance, uh, contacts, uh, business records to assess what kind of relationships Brian, exist. It can be just the lone wolf. There are ways to learn how to make these bombs. It's all over the internet. ISIS oh. will give you uh, the protocol on how to do it. We've had cases in the past where you basically need some chemicals and some nails and some ball bearings and you can wreak havoc. Yes, and one of the things that we're seeing that's very interesting is even folks that uh, gain allegiance to ISIS, for instance, like in San Bernardino, we had folks who were radicalized by Al-Qaeda in, in the Arabian Peninsula, but then held a torch for ISIS. So it's a buffet of extremism. Mm -hmm. Some people might get inspiration through propaganda. Other people might get technical know-how and uh, Inspire Magazine and Rumia and all these others direct how to do right. it. Right, I'm just thinking, excuse me. You're at San Bernardino. You're at Cal State San mm -hmm, Bernardino. Mm -hmm. When that horrific event happened, was there any part of you that said, San Bernardino? I expected this in other places. Actually, it sent chills down the back of my spine because just a month before, I testified before Congress about the violent Southist jihadist threat to the United States, saying it's the most prominent. And after Paris was interviewed and said, we could get hit in Southern California, we have to step it up. 
Wow. Anywhere. Okay. Anywhere where there's where there's people gathering. Brian, it's a scary All right, time. it's always good to see you, but we're always sorry when you come. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, but you know what? We have technology. They're talking about vapor dogs, surveillance, also having these perimeters organized in a way to make them less susceptible to mass casualties. These are all things that we're looking at in the professional area. Yeah, but I good still, to know. I good still to know. think one person wants to die. How do you stop that yeah. crazy person? We, we fight to live. You know, you know, just really quickly, because your viewers love you guys and they're very observant people. If you see something, say something. There's right. oftentimes leakage, behavior, or right. statements. Yes. And see it's okay. something, say something. We're on the side of being overcautious. Right. Absolutely. Got it's it. Okay. Brian Levin, thank you very much. Brian, thanks for making Coming the up, trip. Uh, you made a good uh, trip to be here to tell you. us all of this. Coming up a little bit later.